and welcome back to faith family and fun reviews if you're new here on this channel i share with you delightful family friendly and faith-based movies and television shows so we're gonna go ahead and get into our special feature today which is a very very fun one and it's titled yours mine and ours and you can actually find this film streaming right now for free on youtube but first let me tell y'all what this thing is about when Coast Guard Frank <laughs> decides to move his family of eight back to his old hometown, he encounters handbag designer Helen, an old flame from high school. Immediately sparks fly, y'all, between the two and marriage is proposed. But Frank isn't the only one with kids to worry about. Helen has a total of 10, y'all. <laughs> right away, the children have no intention of playing nicely. Mm -mm. And together, they decide to sabotage their parents' relationship. Friends, this film was absolutely hilarious. If there's any definition of a family film, it would be this film. With all of these kids that have to come together and blend together as one family, you can imagine the chaos. You can imagine just the setbacks, the just it's just a mess y'all and at the beginning of this film you kind of feel some kind of way for frank your heart goes out to frank your heart goes out to helen as well because they are living in their separate worlds and kind of dealing with the same thing they have a huge family a lot of kids so if they ever were to go out on a date that's like one of the turnoffs for most people. And Frank is like almost like scared to just reveal that. If the date is going well, he doesn't want to have to be like, okay, I have such and such amount of children. And Helen is dealing with the same thing. But it just shows you, this film just shows me how good God is. It doesn't matter your family dynamic or what do you have going on, your circumstances. There is someone out there God has for you that just fit. For you and even though it, most people may be turned off by your situation to be like oh that's just a little too much for me I can't deal with this or that right now you know just be patient just keep on trusting in the Lord and your time will come and this is exactly what happened in this film with Frank and Helen they turned out to be each other's person and it was just amazing it, you just laughing just the fact that they both scared to have to reveal this to one another and to see wow you got all these kids like all these kids let's just get together you know and it, it it does help that they knew each other in the past they were actually i believe were getting engaged where we're engaged in the past and for whatever reason it didn't work out at that time and they end up you know living their separate lives having children all that kind of stuff and frank he runs his household y'all let me tell y'all how frank runs his household he run it like in the military, like a drill, like a drill sergeant. He has a schedule. Everybody stick to the schedule. The kids know what they got to do. They know their chores. They know when it's time to eat, homework, all that kind of stuff. And it works for them. His household is amazing. Everything is clean. Everything is in order. Helen, on the other hand, y'all, homegirl, she's just a bright, she's just a bright, colorful human being i'll just leave it at that everything is just colorful in her world cereal is all over the floor paint uh confetti is sprinkled everywhere the animals eating at the table with the kids for breakfast it is just chaos i mean and you're just wondering how in the world you're gonna work with frank here but i guess when you're in love you're just perfect for that person. That person sees your perfection, never necessarily see your flaws. And I guess that is the case with them, you know, coming back into each other's lives during that um honeymoon stage where nothing really bothers you. So it, it works. And they're like in this battle, not even knowing that they're in the battle because the kids are on the other end with their own plans to just destroy and conquer. And the parents have no clue. 
the majority of this film. So it's just absolutely hilarious. It's beautiful to watch. I just love the, fi um, the family dynamics here. You just love to see another different world that somebody may be living and it makes you look at your own world and be like, hey, everybody got their own things. You ain't the only one dealing with whatever you're dealing with. Everybody got something and God got something and someone for everyone. And that is what you really take away from this film and it's just amazing to see it on top of just, you're just laughing pretty much the entire time. You love all the kids even though they all have their different personalities and can come all a bit rude or whatever at different moments in the film but you still at the end of the day you love them you love the way that they are and you just love everything about it and you're gonna love the ending okay but before i close out this video i have to share a scripture with y'all okay like i promise i try to keep my promises all right and it's coming out of ephesians chapter 6 2 verse 3 and this scripture just put me in the mind of this film and it says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Okay, y'all, y'all kids out there. Well, kids and adults, like, you got some parents, guardians in your life, okay? This is the scripture for you. And we have to keep this in mind because it means a lot to our Heavenly Father, right? So that's all I have for you for this video. Until next time, may the Lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore.